Good morning, students. Today, I am going to talk about cubism. I think you have heard the term cubism. And before I start cubism, I need to uh, tell you something about ism. There were many isms in the history of art, like uh, expressionism, impressionism, Fauvism, Dadaism, Surrealism, Abstractivism, Cubism. Now we need to know that all these isms were art movements. It started in 20th century and in many forms, in many styles, in many ways artists wanted to show their creativity, wanted to show their ideas and thoughts and philosophy through their paintings and sculptures. So today I will talk about just Cubism and uh, it was very famous during that time and uh, it was an art movement, you all know I think, Cubism was an art movement which started in 20th century and uh, one of the best artists during that time was Pablo Picasso. You can say that uh, he was the father of Cubism. But there was another artist whose name was George Braque. He was also with Pablo Picasso. They both were associated with Cubism. Now, uh, if I talk about Pablo Picasso, he was such a great personality uh, that uh, it's very difficult to uh, say something about Pablo Picasso within a very short time but I will try my best to uh, say something about Pablo Picasso. Now Pablo Picasso was a Spanish artist. I think you all know it. He was a Spanish artist and he was from Spain and he was born in Spain in 1881. Now First, I'll say something about Pablo Picasso, then I'll write something. So, he was a Spanish artist. He was from Spain. And uh, he was a versatile artist. He, from the very beginning, from the childhood, he uh, expre expressed his uh, ideas and thoughts in a different manner. And he was completely a dedicated artist. He loved art and creativity throughout his life he experimented a lot and uh, he made so many sculptures also, also and he, he divided his painting in a different periods like there was rose period there was pink period there were uh, green period so uh, like that he experimented throughout his life and uh, he made so many great paintings. Some of the paintings were uh, like uh, self-portrait he made. Then uh, he made Gonica. Then he made uh, uh, Weeping Lady. So he made like that, he made so many paintings. Now uh, some of the key points, I will just write it down so that you can remember. Like first uh, thing is that we need to know that he was a Spanish artist. Pablo Picasso was a Spanish artist and he was from Spain and he was blazed with different qualities. He was very good at painting and sculpture. His field was painting. As well as sculptures also. As I have said right now that he experimented a lot. Throughout his, his life, he experimented. And uh, if I talk about his works, and uh, 
before I say something about his work, I will say that he was very confident about his artwork and some of the quotations I will uh, just convey to you. That is, he said, I work for myself. He said, I work for myself and I don't seek applause. I am not interested in the opinions of others. I don't care about what others say. This is such a bold remark he said. So through that we can understand he was such a different artist. Another quotation he said, for me there is neither the past nor the future in art. If a work of art doesn't live in the present, it doesn't live. The art of the Egyptians, the Greeks and the great painters of yesterday is not the art of the past, it is the art of today. Now what does it mean? It means he didn't believe in the past, he believed in the present. For him, neither was past, neither was uh, present. Everything was related to, everything is related to present only. And another very uh, good quotations, I will say that is, he said, my art is not at all abstract. Rather abstract art doesn't even exist and cannot exist. You can eliminate every aspect of realism and what remains is an idea, which is just as real as the objects which has disappeared. Art is always a representation of reality. That means, although we say that he was an abstract artist, but he himself did not believe abstraction. He said, my work is not at all abstract. Because abstract means something which doesn't exist. But everything exists in nature and whatever we see, we just present it, reflect it through, through our painting and sculpture. So that's why he said that art is always a representation of reality. Now if I talk about some of the works, the famous work which he made that was Gonika, famous painting. that was, you need to understand, I will tell you something about Gonika also. Now, we need to understand the history behind this painting. Now, Gonika actually was the name of a small town in Spain. And uh, it was completely destroyed in 1937. And through civil war, it was destroyed. And for that, Pablo Picasso felt very bad. Then he had a plan to do something. So he started making a painting. It was a large painting. And through that painting, he wanted to show his sorrow, his feelings and uh, his pain. So, we need to understand that uh, why artists paint, why artists draw. This is very important. It is not just about painting and drawing. It is all about the history behind the painting. Now, if we talk about another painting, that is Three Musicians. That is also one of the best paintings. Now, three musicians, You, I think you must have seen three musicians. In three musicians, you can say 
that uh, Pablo Picasso used flat colors, very vibrant colors, very attractive colors, and uh, it was a different painting. And he used very bold colors also, and uh, it was opaque color. It was not uh, mixing color. Opaque color he used, and it was very vibrant also. So and the uh, background is also very dark, which creates a different feeling. So that's that was very famous painting. Another painting I'll just say that is his self portrait. Self portrait he made so many self portraits he made, and he made it in a different manner. That also we need to understand. And uh, as I have said earlier, that he divided he his paintings in a different period like one was blue period and during that time in blue period it was Now, during this blue period, he used only blue colors and he made many paintings and he experimented with only blue colors. Then, another period I will talk about that is rose period. It was 1904 to 1906. That was rose period during that time he used red colors and he made so many paintings now another very important thing which i need to tell you and that is collage painting now we need to know that pablo picasso was the first artist who made collage painting he was the first one to make collage painting so what is collage collage means Collage has come from the French word color, C-O-L-L-E-R, color means to stick, means if we stick some of the materials together and if we express our thoughts and ideas in a different arrangement, that is, that, that is called collage painting and Pablo Picasso was the first one to start that and after that many uh, artists uh, started doing that and he said why draw it when you can glue it on that means when everything is available so why to paint it's better to paste and made something in a different manner so uh, we can say a lot about pablo picasso but uh, the thing is that uh, time is also very uh, uh, short uh, finally i'll say that uh, he died he was such a versatile artist in the beginning i have said that uh, he he experimented a lot and uh, he died uh, in 1973 at the age of 92 but still uh, we all remember pablo picasso and uh, we need to uh, know many things about pablo picasso so uh, i think uh, this is all uh, for today, so thank you, thank you so much.